What's going on guys? So if you're thinking of coming to Australia on a working holiday or on a student visa, here are some things that you probably wanna know beforehand. So before you come here, in order to work in Australia, you're gonna need something called a TFN, which stands for a tax file number. This actually allows you to legally work in the country and get registered so you pay taxes, so you can actually be employed properly. Okay, so if you're gonna be living here longer than six months, you wanna apply for an Australian driver's license if you plan on actually driving over here or hiring a car. Um, if you don't, the police will actually, something will flag up on the police cars if they're driving behind you that you don't carry a license. So they'll keep pulling you over. Sometimes if you get a cop who is very intolerant, they will actually fine you on the spot for, not for holding an international license. This actually happened to me, but I was able to explain that I'd only been here a couple of months and they let me go. And then I actually went and registered for a license straight away. So if you plan on studying in Australia, you should know that the cost of education here for internationals is about three times the cost as a resident here. Aside from the export of natural minerals, uh, education is one of Australia's biggest revenue sources from international tourism. So for that reason, they charge a premium for education. Be careful when choosing a college as some of these independent colleges, the quality is really not good. Uh, I studied over here for about seven months and compared to the education back home in the UK, the quality of the course was actually terrible. Okay, so if you come over to Australia as a UK citizen, you'll automatically be granted Medicare if you are on a working holiday visa. Um, if you come on a student visa, you'll have to actually pay for your own health insurance. But if you have Medicare, you wanna make sure that you register as soon as you land in the country. It is free, uh, but you'll need that if you wanna to go to the doctors. They wanna see your Medicare card. So if you plan on working self-employed over here, like as an Uber driver, for example, you wanna make sure you apply for your ABN, your Australian business number, as it will ask you to register that when, it, when you actually start working. And it just allows you to file your taxes properly and prove your earnings. Uh, you can do this for free through the Australian, uh, through the ATO, Australian Tax Office, or you can actually pay for a third party provider uh, to do it separately, but it does cost a little bit of money. So there you have it guys. There's five things that you should know before coming to Australia. Peace.